And Garber steps up, and there's his tight end, Maliki Mataval, with John Bull has come into the game beside Garbers. And he's going to give it to Harden, who gets stuffed right in the middle. Jamari Butler. It was Mataval that went in motion. Garbers. Crossing over the middle, the other tight end, Bryce Pierre, is going to make this a third Running down. The ball in third down situations. That's not what UCLA does. Garbers cuts it loose, and Sturdivant wins that battle. On the block. Look at this route. Sets him up to the outside, and then he comes flat. That's the key, guys. A lot. Garbers. Deep shot. Quasi Gilbert. First down. They went at the freshman. Charlie that really plays on this offense for UCLA. A lot of times you see freshmen. Real make deal. And they get him involved early. Now Keegan Jones sweeping around the edge, and he is going to pick up about nine yards and bring up second. And second down at six after the penalty. Harden gets it all back and more at another UCLA first down. Third down. Pressure. And Garbers is just going to take a couple and get shoved out by Tyrod. Hold it. Salem Abdul Wahab. The snapper. And that's a 14 play scoring drive to open the game for the Bruins. And now pressure up the middle. Viola trying to make some magic. And he gets brought down. Jay Toya. Oh, you just play unfolds. That's Carson Swessinger and Jay Toya. They just keep going and running and running. Look at Jay Toya. I mean, this is 325 pounds. Looking fleet of foot right there. And just. So after a 14 play drive to open the game, second possession for the Bruins. And there is Titus Mokiala Timalala with a first down catch. Garbers, good pocket, hard in the back. That's where the ball normally goes, right? Back. Pressure. Garbers heated up, gets out, and Garbers is going to run for the first down. Savitha Garbers continues to show off. Watch him just climb the pocket. He feels the pressure from McGay. He keeps his eyes down the field, and then a subtle movement sees Garrett DiGiorgio as right tackle. Seven. Pressure. Garbers, and there's Loya. He takes a big hit and is able to hold on. Marquise Buford came when up. When it comes to receiver play on third down, first of all, you see a little bit of a pickup, enough from Jones just to slow down that rush, but it's the route, it's the depth from Logan Loya, the vet of these receivers. He's a the second quarter. And Keegan Jones trying to get him to the edge, and he's able to get there before Willis McGahee. Garbers with time and Sturdivant flag down. He holds on. Tell me, get sure this is a catch, Yogi. Garbers wants to go to Matava, comes right back, puts it in the only place he can, and then there's the contact. You can hear it from all the way up here in the booth. A little trick end around, and they throw it quickly to Berger, and he is in for a UCLA touchdown. That left guard, Spencer Holstage, the whole time. Patient, patient. Then there's the block right there in the middle of your screen. Berger does the rest. And he's going to look at the fake. Raiola, all the time in the world, to take a shot for Barty. And Jacory Barty's got it. What a catch. Play action. He's got to climb the pocket. You're thinking, is he going to get sacked again? No, he doesn't. He just rips one down the field. Beautiful location, and I really think it gets hit by the fingertip of Wallace. See the ball just adjust. The Chiefs game on Monday night, which is on the schedule. They hope to go there with a win in their back pocket. They get it to Barney again. Now these two, two freshmen, Barney the B2 is the back. They give it to Dowdell, and Dowdell is able to get the first down on third and short edge in the red zone. But they give it to Dowdell, and he keeps turning for the. Husker touchdown. The face of the offensive line. This goes right downhill. Right over. Here comes pressure. Two extra rushers. Garbers is going to step up, and he'll pick up the first down and more across midfield. 
Garber's looking over his shoulder, cutting it across the hash, and getting all the way down inside the red zone. This is impressive. He feels the pressure. He slides a little to his left, sees man-to-man -man coverage, says, no problem, I got this. And then, nope, not going to slide. Puts his right foot in the ground against Deshaun Singleton, and away he goes for another explosion. The dynamic back is Keegan Jones. Quick throw, and that's Mokiawa Team Alala, and it'll bring up third down. We'll give it to Berger, and does he slide his way in? This is going to be really close. The mark looks short uh, today. And he's got that one. So Nebraska holds UCLA to a field goal. It's Garbers. Matuval sticks it right in his big paws. First and it's 15. I mean, look at this is four people around the ball. Watch him just pluck that thing. Look at his eyes. The focus all the way to the top. They're trying to get one here. Under two minutes. They've got two timeouts. And Garbers connects to Quasi Gilmer out to midfield of first down. MJ Sherman comes on pressure. He's picked up by Hart. Garber stumbles down. He's going to lose yardage. Garbers pressured. Gets rid of it. He was brought down by Jamari Butler. Incomplete pass. Take the lead. They've got two timeouts. And Riola had time until he didn't. Brought down by Sharif Say. Loss of eight. Yeah, Davey's going to come right into that gap right there, and away he goes. Right now, UCLA is saying, hey, if you're Dylan Riola, you got to get rid of the ball to your first read. But they're taking that first read away. He's trying to get to number two in his progression, and by the time he is. And Riola wants to throw. And throws a pick. Kane Madrano intercepts it. He only has Rayola to beat, and he does. A pick six. Touchdown Bruins. Number 20 right there to the right of your screen. He drops back, sees Fedoni, reads it the whole time. Ball's thrown right to him. Makes a play, and then how about the hurdle? Former wide receiver, track and field star coming out of Colorado in high school. Finds his way into the end zone. Experience. Okay, next play, next snap. Let's run the ball again. Johnson a big run and this has his team heard this message they're gonna go back to the ground and a strong run from Dowdell on first down and let's go down to right next to uh, Raiola they'll give it to Dowdell and he's got the first down yeah right you're, you're on it towards the end of that penalty wise third down Raiola pressured looking and it's caught saving that from trouble Low snap, but Raiola was able to handle it. Flush, throws, incomplete to Nair. And Nebraska, a drive that started with so much promise, turns it over on downs. Receive a million dollars to advance student and community. So UCLA takes over, and Ethan Garbers gets sacked to start the drive. We weren't in that locker room at halftime. We presented a few things to say. Just dominant effort, right? Right through the offensive front and Josh Carlin and Sam Yoon and company and for Garbers again. T.J. Harden on the toss. Harden keeps his feet and he's got a first down. How did he escape? Audibling at the line of scrimmage to the toss where they got numbers. There comes to Giorgio, there comes Matavao, and how about the legs? They come right through Bullock, Gifford. I mean, these are vets on this black shirt defense. Continues on. Play action. Garbers, sideline. Gilmer, wide open. Touchdown, Bruins. It's coming off the edge. Garbers sees man to man the whole time. It's a beautiful corner route from Gilmer. That helped generate about five yards of separation. Raiola, and that's to Fedoni all over that was KJ. They do, they deserve all that credit going on the road. Short yardage and a big run from Dante Dowdell. He had 
Elijah Judy. For. Yeah, well, how about this leap? Like he's in the Olympics. One hurdle. Here comes another one against Brian Addison, who stands at the seat. Raiola. Time. Open. Barney snags it. Jakari Barney came to play today. Who, anybody? I mean, again, freshman to freshman after a penalty against UCLA. The throw is phenomenal. He throws it to the left of Barney. Raiola, Fade, Nayer, and he got it! Touchdown, Nebraska! Be there, but keep your eye on the feet right here. Where's that right foot? Does the right foot touch first? From up here, I thought it did, but does it touch in? I think so. Call the touchdown. Six to start the half is off the field as well. It'll be Emmett Johnson. He's able to turn the corner and then gets Swarmed Ramon Henderson was there. A couple of tight ends in the game in short yardage, and Dowdell is able to get the first down. But Raiola gets it off. Swessinger coming, bringing the pressure. Raiola chucks it down the field. Did he get it? Nayer! Yeah! yeah he got it. I mean, that's an audible from Dylan that's the end Raiola. Of the third quarter. Let's see if he's in. He's got the catch, he's got the right foot down. And he's got this crowd of QB1. Dylan Raiola, he's going to give it. Harbert wants to throw it back. Raiola setting it up. He lets it go complete. That is Jamal Banks. And it's very near a first down. It's not a nice job, little toss. Usually high alert, but you see sneaking behind that defense is Banks. Man. Pressure. Raiola sworn. Raiola sees. Deflected and incomplete in the game. A lot of movement up front as Nebraska snaps it. Raiola goes down. Carson Slay. It looked like they were either setting up a screen to Barney or something in the corner, but there was nothing Oregon. doing. Oregon UCLA also on the dot. Nebraska's offense takes over after the UCLA punt. Good starting field position. Heinrich Harburg back into the game. They give this one up the middle to Dowdell, and it's a first down. Okay, so now I think tackles are up. Raiola completes, and that is Emmett Johnson, and it'll bring up third down and four. Johnson breaks the tackle. Johnson spins forward, and he's got the first down. Raiola, good pocket. And that's complete near. Still on. Feet down inside the 10. I love it when we'll hurry up offense. Look at the eyes right down the middle. He isolates where the linebackers are going to deploy on the back coming out of the back. Well, under center. He's going to give it to Lloyd, and that's going backwards. Ola Femi Ola Dejo. Raiola. Ola Dejo stepping up. Raiola. Clear path down to the three, and he gets crushed. That was Cajo and Swessinger, and Raiola is down. Officials time, injured player, offense, Ooh. number 15. His toughness has been on display, right, all season. Anybody you talk to says, man, he's come in with such a professional mindset. Harbor, pitch, Johnson, cuts it up, and he gets Stonewall. How about the pursuit? to the rock, gets cut back inside, and at the white. Harbor gives it, flag down, but Dowdell in. Touchdown, Nebraska. Check on the penalty. And Holm misses the extra point. Nebraska just refuses to go away. And a good finish coming up. Wow. And the play clock is low as they get it off. Toss it to Berger. He cuts it up through a seam. And this is going to make it third down and about one. They hurry up then. They give it to Berger. And he is short. And it's fourth down. Two minute timeout. It's third down and eight. And the veteran Harburg drops back. And he's pressured. And he will step out. Harbor 
Toya in his face. And he finds Nair. And Nebraska converts. And his own coverage. Four man pressure. Harburg. He can run. He brings it down. And he gets the first down and gets out of bounds. Play of this drive for Nebraska. Here comes pressure. Harburg gets it out quick to Fedoni. And the UCLA defense keeps him in bounds for this QB. On third down, he gives it. And that'll temporarily stop the clock on the first down from Emmett Johnson. Yes. Back off That's at right. the top. All right, so after the penalty, it's second and 15. Harburg has Barney, and then he does it. Closing quickly was Brian Addison, and he's got it. Decides to play with conviction. Harburg throws it, rips it with conviction. His receiver, the freshman Barney, goes up with conviction. Addison tries to play the ball with conviction. It goes off the left oh. arm. Or Barney, are you kidding me? Into the hands of Kalen Moore. I mean, we've seen a lot, brother. We have never seen knee to elbow to chest to pick time in one of the most challenging places in America to strap it up and play the greatest game on earth. Well, you know what happened, right? The Big Ten expanded and people say, what about these West Coast teams going to the Pacific time zone, long flights, it's cold. And UCLA, who faced so much challenge early in the year, traveling to LSU and Penn State and traveling to Rutgers and wondering, are they going to be able to figure this out? They've now won back-to-back -back road games. And heartbreak for Nebraska.